It's, it's Rob from FortiFitnessBootcamps.com. I'm just quickly going to take you through a few slides on what makes us fat. And this is just a tiny part of the story. Um, this is one of the number one culprits, so sugar. Now, I see a lot of people on Facebook and I get a lot of people inboxing me, messaging me. Hey Rob, you know my, my diet, is, you know I, I'm doing dieting but I'm not dropping any kind of weight. Like I said, I'm not really a big... Um, a big believer in looking at your weight and following your weight and you know people jump on and off the scales every single day um, I'm more looking at the fat loss side of things and that's where a lot of people kind of get confused with the weight and the fat loss alright so fat loss we're going to lose a lot of body fat um, weight loss you're just going to keep looking at your weight alright um, I'm not a big lover of it and this is one of the number one culprits why you don't drop a lot of body fat okay so you want an inch loss, body fat's the number one thing. Now, what tends to happen is a lot of people are addicted to sugar, but they don't realize it. Okay, so it's in a lot of the foods. Um, people that go for low-fat diets don't tend to realize how much sugar is in there. Um, they strip the fat out and they'll put extra additives and stuff in there, um, which is a lot of chemicals, which is going to play on your liver and have a massive impact hormonally. Now, a lot of people don't go in the hormone side of things and they're still kind of sticking with the calories in, calories out, um, which doesn't work and it's been proven not to work. So when people are saying to me, hey Rob, you know, what should my portion sizes be? I'm not a big believer in it, okay? Um, portion sizes should be as big as they want to be, um, as you feel full, then obviously stop your food. You know, if you've still got some left, then stop it if you're feeling full. But your portion sizes isn't a big factor when it comes down to eating the right foods. It's when you're eating the wrong foods, that's when the portion sizes come into it. Okay, so the calories in, calories out thing just does not work for me and I'm not a big lover of it. So for instance, say take this cereal. Okay, so a special K. Yeah, it's low in fat, but there's a lot of sugar in there. So if, you, if you're finding that you're not losing a lot of body fat or you're not even losing weight, it tends to be because of the chemicals and they've stripped a lot of the fat out of there and it's just full of sugar. So when they do these special K diet things, yeah, it might have a, a, a short impact, um, but it's not great. Okay, you want long-term impacts, long-term goals. Short-term fixes do not work for long-term goals. So yeah, this might work for a week, but to be honest, you're not getting the right nutrients from that um, and it's not going to have a massive effect on you. From, a, from a, a brain point of view as well, your, your nutrients feed your brain. And this sugar, it's just going to make you crave even more sugar throughout the day. So the chemical impact that this has on you, it just makes you want more sugar. Okay? So if I said to you, look, you know, the best breakfast is this. Steak, uh, nuts, you'll probably go, hey Rob, screw you, I'm not going to eat that for breakfast. Well, the thing is, if you're not going to train, change your habits, then you've got to change your expectations. So, you know, protein, nuts, um, you're going to get your omega-3 from your meat, and you're also going to get, which is very important, essential fatty acids. And you're also going to get, from the nuts, you're going to get the dopamine, which gives you the drive throughout the day. So a lot of people kind of lack drive. And say for anyone that's on kind of high sugar, uh, they, can, they tend to get them dips during the day and they need either caffeine to kind of spark it back up again or they, they need some kind of sugar to get them going again. If you're eating the right kind of foods throughout the day, then that you're not going to find that kind of impact. So what I'm, on about, what I'm talking about is the chemical impact that the foods have on your body each day and how they make you think. So you've got to think about your thought process as well. So if you're eating shite, and you're eating a lot of sugar, then that's going to have a massive impact on how you're feeling throughout the day, which will either have a negative effect on you wanting to do anything. So, like I say, if you want to go to the gym and you eat a lot of sugar, you probably get this point where you go, screw that, I can't be bothered. Okay, so you've got to have the right foods throughout the day. You're going to drop a lot of body fat. I'm not bothered about portion sizes. You know, you're going to feel full when you feel full. So... Like I say, guys, if you're struggling with diets and things like that, then start getting into more of a healthy lifestyle. Start opting for more protein. Yes, you do need your carbs. Um, you need your carbs, especially if you're training hard. 
Um, but a lot of emphasis is on kind of sugary carbs. Um, carbs give you quick fixes. Carbs should come from natural sources such as fruit. It uh, can come from um, rice. Um, natural, natural sources. But like I say, guys, if you try and a lot, drop a lot of body fat and you have a lot of body fat to lose, then carbs should be either cycled or kept to a bare minimum. If you're only training three times a week, then you do not need a lot of carbs, okay? Um, only if you're training hard, I'd say five to six times a week, then you've got to get them carbs in. Get them carbs in. Very important to get them in um, after training, okay? So post-training, get them carbs in. But guys, if you've... If you're on low-fat diets and they're not working for you, now you know why. All right, cheers for watching this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.